Hi there. Today I'm going to share with you how to upload a video to YouTube. And that's going to make your life so much easier because you can record any videos for your assignments and then you can upload them to YouTube and then share the link with your professor or your classmates and your life is going to be so much easier because a link is so much faster to share than sharing a big file, right? So I'm going to share that with you right now. Are you ready? All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see. All right. So I'm going to share this page. Okay. So I'm going to go to Google, right? It's right here. And I'm going to just type YouTube. It is really simple. The first step is to, number one, you can see that what my daughter watches, right? On my, um, on my YouTube, she watches all sorts of cartoons. So here, you can see my face right there on the right side. Um, this is my channel, so I created an account. So the first thing you have to do, you have to create an account for yourself, okay? So I created my channel. So this is my channel right here. You can see that I have a few uploaded um, videos already. So I, I upload all my videos that I present, I upload over there. So what you would do after you create your account, usually you have to have a Gmail account. Gmail accounts are free. So you create a Gmail account. Once you have your YouTube, you add a little picture right here. See, as well just I have nine subscribers, so you can subscribe to my channel if you would like, all right? It'll be cool, so then you see all the videos that I have uh, uploaded at any time, so it's cool. Anytime I upload something, you get a notification. So here you are going to click, so you have your chat, so you have your email done, so you have a Gmail account, and then you have a YouTube account connected with that Gmail, and then you're good to go. So here you're gonna click this, create a video or post, you click that plus, upload a video. It's so easy, you guys. And then it's gonna take you to this. See, I'm gonna move my little screen. And then it says drag and or drop videos files to upload. So I'm gonna select my file. So let's pretend that I'm going to upload a video that is on my downloads. Let me see. I'm going to upload. Let me find the video real fast. Okay, this video right here. Okay, I'm gonna push open. And so it's gonna show right there, see? It's uploading. And then the title, I'm gonna title my video. I'm gonna say, read aloud. And I'm going to call it the name of the book. Let's pretend I did the read, read aloud for um, the princess. And the frog by Jimmy Curtis. I'm making it up, okay? And then I can say the description. In this video, I explain how to do a read aloud for preschoolers and then I write anything I want to write right so here you can see it's gonna say thumbnail thumbnail is gonna be the little image when people see your video it's gonna show something um, that's gonna automatically do for you but if you don't like what you see you can always add a little image that's what it's gonna show to people um, and then you can um, select a playlist that means it's gonna put your video in a folder, like category. So I have a few, I have equity and social justice, I have like curriculum development, I have phonics lessons, I could say, could, I could create a new playlist and say, read aloud, right? And I create, and so then it's right down here and I'll click, so because I want that video to go to that folder. So I click that, push done, 
and it's not made for kids because I, I don't want it to be like, I don't want my daughter watching cartoons and then that video pops up for her because she's not going to want to watch it. So I put not made for kids. It's appropriate for kids, but it's not made for kids. And then see this link right here? So, so my video is already there. Pretend that this is my video. And then this is my video link. This is what you're going to share with your um, professor. Okay? So here's this. Uh, you can copy video link. You can also play right here. Do you love school? See right there? This is the video that came from my phone. And so you can click on that. And then you can copy. And you push next. I'm going to ask if I want to add any screens at the end or cards. I usually don't add anything. I can ask if I want it to save or publish. I, want, I usually have it public. Because if you put as private, then people are going to need um, a link, a specific link, and they, it's, it's a little complicated. So I usually have it public. But uh, for people to find your video, it's really, really rare that they, will, they would find it. So if it's something that you really don't mind, I would say have it public. If you want to do it private, you can. But just know that it might be a little difficult for people to access, including your professor. So it's up to you. All right? I usually do it public because I don't mind. But and then you can just put save and publish. Here's again, if you need that link, this is the link for your video. You just, you're getting published on YouTube. Push publish. And that's going, going online. See right there? And then I can share the link. I can put it on Facebook. I can blog about it. I can put it on Pinterest. I can do all that and then close. So here we go. So then I have my list. See all my stuff? All my videos that I've posted are here. If I go to my channel, I can have my dashboard on the side. Here's my video. If I copy paste that link over here, I can watch the video. See? Do you love school? See? So it is just so simple. So then you would go to Canvas right here. See? And you could um, open a new Word document. You could say you could open a new document. And you could just name it. Um, can you see my screen? Let me make sure that you can still see my screen. And I would put like read aloud link. And you would put it there. Copy paste there. Of course, put your name. You would say Angela Johnson. I would put read aloud, uh, read aloud um, assignment, and then the link. And then I would save it as read aloud Angela Johnson, because that's your name. You put your name, right? And then save it onto your folder, wherever you save your stuff. Save. So you know where it's at. Then to turn in your assignment, right? You go to, let me make sure that you can still see my screen. Yes. So you would go to your um, class, any class that you're turning this, um, you know, to. I mean, if you're, if any class that you have to turn in an assignment as a video, like a lesson plan, a lesson presentation, a read aloud, whatever it is. See right here? You can do upload read aloud video and uploading read. Oh, no, this is my video. So let's see. I need a Dropbox. Sorry, I need a Dropbox. Dropbox for your read aloud video upload. You can click right here. Oh, actually, let me make sure that I have student view so you can see what it looks like to you. So then you would see right here Dropbox for your read, read aloud upload. And you, right here, see right there, it says submit assignment. And it's going to say browse. And you're going to go to where you saved it. I put it under documents. My assignment on Word because I saved my link there. I could just upload my, my video if, I, if it wasn't too big, right? But I, I, but I did it, do the, the link from YouTube. And then submit. Done. Right? 
If I made a mistake, I can just go here and resubmit my assignment the same way. Here are the instructions for this assignment. How to record, how to talk to the camera. All right. Okay, so this is it for me. I hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. All right.